Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> it's time. Oh, it's absolutely time. It's time to get that golden boy, that slow poke. Ladies and gents, welcome to the episode. Today's episode is all about learning how exactly you're going to get the brand new Galarian Slowpoke and how to get his shiny form. I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know uh, within the first beginning of this video, and then we're going to do a shiny hunt live against viewers like you guys. So take everything that I'm teaching you guys over here, jump on in, and let's play along with. Yeah, I'm super pumped. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so if you guys didn't already, go over to Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. Press on the plus button on the main home menu over here. Click on software update. Click on via the internet. Okay. And then once you click on that, you will get your update going. Okay. It takes about a couple minutes in order to get your update. And then once you're updated on both your versions of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, it's a free update. Head on over, right? Okay. Head on over to the map. We are here, you guys can see that we're in Wedgehurst. This is at the very beginning of the game. So it's pretty easy to get. You can even start, um, I don't know, you could start your game maybe with just this slow poke. So anyway, here's the beginning of the game. Here's Wedgehurst, that's exactly where we're at. So before we actually jump on into this, there's a couple things that you do want to have on hand, just in case. So with your Pokemon, I would say bring your Pokemon that you use best for capturing Pokemon such as I like using Gallade because he's awesome. He has access to False Swipe, Hypnosis, and those two are a perfect combination for catching Pokemon. Next thing that you want to bring is potentially a... Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, man, a Synchronizer would have been pretty cool, but I don't think I have one. Anyway, bring all your Pokeballs, right? So if you guys have a Master Ball floating around, Net Ball, Nest Ball, Dive Ball, if you still have your Love Ball that you got from Ball Guy or Heavy Ball, Moon Ball, Dream Ball, Beast Ball, <clears throat> or any of these Pokeballs, now's the time to use one of them, right? Because this is going to be one of your only wild um, slow pokes that you're going to get before the expansion. So whenever you choose to breed that Pokemon, they're going to be in that specific Pokeball. So which Pokeball are you guys gonna use? Let me know in the comments. So we're over here in Wedgehurst. And by going into the train station, you're going to trigger the brand new cutscene. And depending on what variation of Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield you'll have, you'll have a couple different trainers on board, which is kind of interesting. Okay, the train to the Isle of Armor has arrived. Those are the armor pass. Please board the train. Oh man, an armor pass. Hello. Who's this? Do you have an armor pass? Ah, of course, I totally have one. Please allow me to check. Hold on, I like her. And look! <laughs> it's a slowpoke. Oh, a slowpoke. Oh, looks like another one's gotten on the train and ridden over to the Isle of Armor. Hello. Well, who are you for starters? Question mark, question mark, question mark. You guys remember her name from the Pokemon Direct? Wasn't it like Kyla or something? Anyway, this is the first time I've seen a Galarian Slowpoke. The coloring of the top of its head is curry-like. Isn't it super duper? One might say it's very mustard-like. <laughs> mustard, get it? Remember, because the guy's mustard? Clara, his, her name is Clara, apparently. Slow. Okay, so here's Slowpoke. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? If Slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for the other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you could catch it for me? Battle Slowpoke in order to catch it. So you can save beforehand if you really want to. There's no point in soft resetting. As uh, rumor has it, this guy's shiny locked, so you won't be able to keep on like soft resetting this encounter in order to get him in a shiny variant. But stay tuned, we're gonna teach you guys how to get the shiny version soon. All right, anyway, so here we go. We're gonna, oh, he's at level 12 right now. Wow, big old false swipe. Which Pokeball should we use? Which Pokeball should we use, ladies and gents? Let me know in the comments and emotes only. If you guys remember, you know where we're going. I mean, we have to go the whole nine yards and get him at a sleep with one HP, right? That just has to be what it is. Anyway. We're gonna go Master Ball, right? We're gonna throw a Master Ball on him? We shouldn't have done that first turn. No, we're gonna go Premier Ball for sure. Anyway, Premier Ball, go. 
So I have chosen to capture him in a Premier Ball. I love the Premier Ball challenge. It's not really that hard, but Premier Ball has always been one of my favorites. And that was like a critical capture almost? I don't know, doesn't matter. But you guys can capture him in whatever ball you guys have. The more exclusive the Pokeball, the better, I would say. But you know, it's just all cosmetics, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> We're gonna be able to catch these guys later on once the expansion pack comes on board, so. Anyway, add it to your party. Let's go take a look at our brand new Galarian Slowpoke. Thanks so much, Slowpoke can be a big trouble to move sometimes. Wow, amazing. The way you caught that Slowpoke was absolutely, was the coolest. Uh, we apologize for the wait. We have checked your armor pass. All aboard the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step. Please be aware that there's a connection along the way. Okay. I'm heading to a place called the Isle of Armor. I'm gonna catch some rare Pokemon and do some training. Let's hang out. Let's hang if we meet up again, okay? Bye bye then. See ya. Some pretty short shorts, girl. What you wearing? Anyway. So, now that we've got our Slowpoke, <clears throat> let's see exactly what he comes with, what nature, what ability, all that stuff, and then we're gonna go show you guys how to get his uh, shiny variant. So here we go. Oh, he's asleep with one HP. What a cute guy. Okay, so we got him here. Uh, he's got Gluttony. Pretty cool Pokemon when you eat a Held Berry. Um, that's pretty great, so I like that. Gluttony's alright, it's not the best, but we don't know what he gets when he evolves. But anyway, Growl, Acid, Yawn, Confusion. Uh, naughty by nature. Okay, naughty by nature. Great. And then, uh, yeah, that's all of his stuff. So, that's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, you can actually look at his IVs, right? Let's take a look at his IVs, so that way we know who to breed him with. To boxes. Alright, so mine was a Slowpoke. Wow, that stinks! Usually the gifted Pokemon in the game are like at least four, three IV perfects. Yo, this is terrible. Pretty good, pretty good, decent, decent, decent. Man. It's lame. Alright. <clears throat> nonetheless. Nonetheless, let's go. So, now that we got our Slowpoke over here, this guy is going to be some breeding fodder. The only way that you can get the shiny as of right now, at the time of recording, in the pre-expansion, is going to be doing some breeding. So, you guys ready to breed? Let's go breed. Alright, so we're gonna head on over to this little area, yeah, right, can we, yeah, no, we can go to the actual Pokemon nursery. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. I'm excited. The Gift Pikachu and the Gift Eevee were all 6 IV perfect Pokemon, so I'm a little spoiled with that. Alright, so we're gonna grab this egg. It was a random egg. It could be a shiny. I don't remember what we were shiny hunting last, but we got an egg. So, other than that, we're gonna take our stuff. <clears throat> we're gonna take our Pokemon back. We're gonna take my Ditto. And I think we were, like, doing a live stream of, like, Hatena. We didn't get the shiny Hatena, but we did get the shiny Duraluda, and it was pretty good. So there's your Hatena. There's your other person. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna take a look and see what we have to do over here in order to get our breeding going. Here's your Ditto, here's your Hatena. I'm gonna move this Ditto to my Ditto box. And it's somewhere over here. And then I've got a whole bunch of other Dittos that I want to try to get a, a, a modest nature. So I don't have to waste the actual, um, what was that? <clears throat> let me see, so I think some of these, some of these guys are, let me see, check summary. I'm gonna go for modest. What kind of na nature would you guys put on one? Modest, right, or bold, probably? Um. This is Adamant, Brave, Bold, Modest. This one over here, level 55, Korea. Level 55, Korea. We're going to grab. Okay, and Senta Scorch is going to come over here. And we're going to grab you. Oh my gosh, wow. It's been a while since I napped on these things. Anyway, why? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do this. Check this out. So this is our 55 Modest Ditto. Uh, with our Modest Ditto, we are going to give him a held item of an Everstone. So we're gonna give him that. Move. Can I just give him a held item? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Everstone. Now I wanna, I wanna pass on that nature, right? And then just use that breeded natured one with an Everstone paired up with the Destiny Knot. We should be okay. So other items, let me see here. X, my name, let me see if we got an Everstone floating around. We should. Okay, we got three of them, perfect. Okay, so now that I've got this modest ditto, 
and we've got our uh, slowpoke over here. We're gonna put them into the daycare, and then we're going to get a modest natured little slowpoke, whatever. It'll be fine. I think Modest is safe to say that he's going to do that. But what if he's a physical attacker? That'd be pretty terrible. But anyway, we're fine. So anyway, we're going to add our Slowpoke. We're going to add our Modest Ditto into the daycare. And we're going to pay a thousand bucks for both. And then now... Is all set. Okay. So what we need to do is I want to get a quick hatch going of this one... At least one of them so that I get a Modest one. And then we're going to pair that up with another Japanese Ditto so that we can do some Masuda method in order to shiny hunt, get some better odds of it. So if you guys are not familiar with what Masuda method is, that's where you take a Pokemon from a different language and you breed it with a another different language Pokemon. And there's better odds of you getting a shiny Pokemon within. So pretty excited for that. Anyway, and then we're going to breed it with some, some IV guys and it's gonna be really fun, so anyway. I want to try to breed a perfect one. That'd be really great. So you got to pay attention to the different individual values of each of the Pokemon, and then maybe you can get a perfect, uh, perfect purebred, uh, Galarian, Slowpoke, which would be real fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting word from our current resident breeder. Our resident breeder is here. Uh, his name is Aiden, Anime Knight, over here in the comments. If you guys want a Slowpoke in a Beast Ball. Jump into the trade code of 0026 and trade with Aiden. He'll be doing that for the upcoming hour or so. Oh, this is nasty. I don't like this dumb thing. Anyway, so when you're trading him, just make sure you give him something cool like a Gigantamax Pokemon or attach a pretty cool item to something um, as a way of saying thanks for the Beast Ball. Slowpoke, am I right? Anyway. So go for it. Trade code 0026. Aiden will let me know what you guys are giving him in the comments. Uh, so we'll see from there. All right, let's see. I want to get my little guys going. Let's see, Pokemon. I do have someone else in my team. No, we got five eggs. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> the whole Masuda method jokes. I love it. All right, here we go. Egg sent to the box. I have to. I have to change boxes real quick. All right, so one of the things too is when you're going through and doing some shiny hunting like in a mass scale, I would say dedicate a brand new box to where you're gonna dump all this stuff. So if I got a new box, I would probably make it box 10 right here. Yeah, you know, we go box 10. There's nothing in box 10, so let's do that. We're gonna do box 10, we're gonna uh, hatch them all in batches of five and we should be all set and ready to go. All right, here we go. This is not egg number one. This is egg number negative one. <laughs> that's an old antenna. Let's get rid of that thing. Dude, that's so 2019. Get out of here. No one asked for you. <clears throat> All right, so Hatena's ready. I want to hatch these next batch of fives. We All right, here we go. Give me some more. Give me some more. So if you have a Pokemon with Flame Body, of course, that Flame Body Pokemon is going to allow the eggs to hatch a lot faster. If you have the Shiny Charm, your Shiny Odds are going to be the maximum that it possibly can be. So we have everything that we need right now. And we're just going to be running around in circles uh, while this man looks at us. Anyway, so this is our first egg. That's, uh, yep, first egg. Negative one. Oh my gosh, I saw the gold on its forehead. And I said, come on! <clears throat> I saw the gold on its forehead, and I said, come on. Dang. Wee! Here we go. Senta Scorch? is the flame body Pokemon that we're using today. Number two. Nada. Oh, dang, we got some egg count crew in the comments. Dang. Local egg count crew.
Yeah, what happens if you KO the Slowpoke? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to find out on your own. <laughs> Does it come back? I don't know. Well, that's a good question. Jolly old number three. Yeah, every time. Every time you see the yellow on its head, that's immediately where your eyes go and you think it's gonna be a shiny. But no, it's a golden child. And I love, trust me, out of all of the shiny designs that are in the game, there's a, there's a small handful of them that are like gold. And I really love those. Uh, the one that I really like is uh, Sableye. I love shiny Sableye. That's like one of my favorites. It's just like, it's actually bling bling. It's got like diamonds in his eyes. It's cool. All right, slow pokey. Okay, is that five? Let's take a look. Yeah, that, that's a lot of them. So anyway, we're gonna dump them. <laughs> or not necessarily dump them, but we're gonna get them in here. I used to do this quick. I need like another, get these two out of here. <laughs> what are you guys even doing here? Are these even good? I really have to like look through these boxes, man. All right, so we're gonna do this. Man, I used to be so fast at menuing before when this was actually a thing. There we go, a little better. <laughs> I'll get used to it, it's like riding a bike. All right, anyway, here we go. So we now have uh, five more eggs. Uh, yeah, this is kind of weird because we're not on like a five cycle here. We just did like, are we at four or three? We should be at four. It's unfortunate, but it's okay. Batches, man, batches. Oh, and you know what we didn't do? You know what we didn't do? Take a look at this. So instead of just mindlessly like breeding right now, we should actually take a look at the ones we hatched. See if they're any good. This one has a good and special attack. That's pretty decent. Yeah, and they're all in, um, yeah, so here's our new breeding pair. All right, so this one is in special attack. I'm gonna take him. Yeah, dude. Instead of mindlessly breeding without caring about IVs. <clears throat> no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pure breed, breed this guy. So you're coming over here and then we're gonna go to our ditto box and my ditto box is this way. And I've got a pretty decent ditto to put him with. This one, ditto, do, 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 best, best, best. I need like all, yeah, this one's good. This one can be perfect with it. It's a good pair. Okay, so this ditto, or sorry, this guy is going to be, let's take a look at his summary. You are a modest, right? Gluttony, let's see, modest. Yeah, modest by nature. Okay, so we bred the nature first. We've got the perfect IV for special attack. We're gonna go check held item. We're gonna give him an Everstone. Okay, beautifully done. And then now we switch out the pairs. Oh, and then I need this Ditto to have a Destiny Knot, which it already does. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. All right, take a look. Give me that egg. All these eggs, we're just gonna end up eating these eggs. It's like Slowpoke Tails, but like breakfast. All right, anyway. So we took the egg. We're gonna take these Pokemon back. And then now we got a new breeding pair since we just bred the perfect nature that we wanted on him and we now have uh, a good ditto. So we're gonna leave a Pokemon, here we go. And it's the Pokemon that are in our team. This one's the Slowpoke, modest, holding an Everstone in order to pass on the nature. And then we've got the ditto with the Destiny Knot which is going to pass down um, potentially five IVs from both of the parents instead of like three or whatever it is. Anyway. So we're, we're all set here, this is good. This is actually really good. I'm very happy about that. All right, so we're gonna go over here to box. Uh, now we've got a ditto, which we can move back to over here. We've got our slow poke. Oh dang, look at all these boxes. Oh, I need to go to those boxes better than these random ones I got over here. All right, anyway. So slow pokey, we're gonna move here. We're gonna move here. 
Yeah. And then we're gonna move all of these eggs in here. And who knows, right? Who knows if any of these eggs are going to be the shiny, right? Yeah, okay, we're ready, let's go. Now we just hatch. And that's really the only way that you are going to get your Slowpoke that is a shiny. He is, uh, he's just locked behind breeding, which is kind of cool. You know what, I like that. It's like, it's like a modest way of getting a shiny. And it's personally like my favorite way of doing it too. Although it's boring to run around in circles, I would take, I would take shiny hunting this way rather than fishing rather than battling 500 of them or like typing in seeds into a calculator to see a raid den like i would do this is the this is like the most basic way and i like it a lot what about you guys what's your favorite way of shiny hunting let me know in the comments all right so now that we're here you guys know how to do this right so let's actually get this versus on now, we've done shiny hunt versuses against viewers in the past. So, if you guys are not familiar, make sure you guys come on board and you guys play along with. How fast can you hatch a shiny slowpoke? And I want you guys to tweet at me using the hashtag in the top corner, hashtag shiny hunt versus. Let me know. Um, and then we're going to need someone who's going to be on board with checking Twitter to see if anyone has actually done it today. Hashtag shiny hunt versus. So, we can crown some winners and it'll be pretty cool. We can give you shoutouts. I don't have any hidden ability of these guys, so I mean, I don't really have anything to give the winners other than you just winning the episode. So, anyway. I'm talking about you guys. Viewers right here that are participating. Not people you've seen on the internet that has them. No, you guys. This is 1v1ing me right now. Let's go. Okay, Slowpoke, come on, man. Number six. And we gotta do some predictions, too. Like, at what egg is this going to hatch at, man? Hello, hi. What if it happened right now at six? Ah, oh, dang, dude. Yo, lucky number seven. I don't know, man. And now it's just a waiting game. Fifty-seven. I'm budgeting time for about a hundred eggs. Okay, I'm not going to be here for longer than a hundred eggs unless you guys really want it. Um, I feel that doing a one hundred egg challenge is digestible. You know what I mean? Like, can we do it in a hundred eggs? I hope we can. I really just wanna, I'm like, my OCD right now is like destroying me. I really just want to like hatch another two eggs. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> just cause I like it in nice sets of five. So I am, here we go, check this out. I'm just gonna hatch these two eggs and then we're just gonna start anew. It's all because of that Hatena, man. Get that thing out of there. All right, my guys, here we go. Number nine. Hello? <laughs> it's fine. And then with the new batch, like the second the second generation of these Slowpoke, I'm gonna have to actually keep an eye on their IVs because maybe we might get one that is, I don't know, maybe like a two IV or a three IV in order to get a better one. So anyway, so I'm just gonna go. We're gonna go off for a, a little visit here. Who should we go see? Should we go say hi to Snorlax? I need, to, I need to go. We need to hatch this one singular egg so that we're at 10. There's Palpitoad, hey buddy. I wonder if Snorlax is out and about today. He's usually kind of cute. Oh, I don't like that thing at all. Here's the egg. Number 10, that's the magic one. Holy moly. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's, 
You can't be naive to think you get it. Don't be naive. Shiny hunting takes ages. Can we get it in under a hundred eggs though? I don't think so. But we're gonna try. Oh boy, are we gonna try. It's gonna be pretty fun. Because you going into the new expansion with a fancy shiny um, little slow pokey, that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Do this, do this, do this. Whoa, okay, hello. Are any of you guys good? <clears throat> uh, I think you're generation one. Uh-huh, generation one. Yeah, these guys are probably generation one. Yeah, no, these guys are Garbo. It's fine. <laughs> we need to take a look at Generation 2. Oh my gosh, there's a Gyarados in the lake. I'm out of here, dude. That thing will destroy you. I don't like that thing at all. Lanoon, get that guy out of here. Okay, well, here we go. I need to go collect some more eggs, man. The eggs hatch pretty regularly. It seems like a very low step count for these eggs, which is very good. I remember the Duraludon took like forever. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Moving on. Eggs into a box. Good. And then we just walk in a circle. Beautifully done. <laughs> Aiden says... Remember, he wasted his beast ball, so y'all didn't have to. Dang. You guys better be trading Aiden some good stuff, I swear. Aiden gives me a detailed report, line by line, of all the things that all of my community members have traded him. Gives me line by line reports. And some of you guys are really generous, but some of you guys are really stingy, so make sure. It's a beast ball, dude. It's a beast ball slowpoke. Mine's Premier Ball, because that's just what we do here. Hey, come on, baby! Slowpoke Simpson. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh, Cyndaquil, you're going to aim for three shiny Slowpoke? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work, dude. Good luck. I would like to hatch two. Is asking for two too much? Is asking for two shiny slowpoke too much so that I can get both variants shiny? <laughs> when I don't even have one yet, <laughs> and I'm asking for two. <laughs> Can I have two? It took me about 500 plus eggs in order to hatch one shiny in general. Remember that? I would do like little batches of 100, um, and then I'd do a batch of like 150, maybe a 200 batch. And then... I remember the live stream for Shiny Hunt for Duraludon. It was like the sixth egg. The sixth egg starting into the stream. So crazy. All right, so is that five? Yeah, it is five. All right, let's take a look at these guys. This is generation two, so let's see gen two. This one's got two IV, this one's got three IV. But it's not a, a best. Yeah, these guys aren't going to take it. I need someone with a special attack best, and my current parent is the best one that I have. No pun intended. I need more eggs. Look at this. I'm hatching them faster than they can produce, man. This baby maker has got to keep on making babies, dude. Go faster. <laughs> I got to keep going, man. All right, keep going, man. That ditto is putting in that work. Let's go. 
that Japanese Masuda Ditto is putting in that work. Can't rush a good baby, you say? But what about a long baby? Can we rush a long baby? <laughs> Can't rush a good baby. Gimme this! How do you know if it's Gen 1, 2? No, I'm just talking. I'm just talking nonsense. I'm calling it like a Gen 1 because like it was my first uh, Slowpoke. It was the original one. And then it had a baby. And then now I'm breeding the baby into Gen 2. <laughs> but you go out there in a Pokemon game and you say the words Gen and a number after it, it means something completely different. So... We Did I watch the trailer for the new Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion? No way. Never heard of it. Tell me more. What's up, Cybernetic Gaming? I just hatched one first try. Pixar, it didn't happen, man. You know the rules. Read the description. And then someone confirm if we have a winner on Twitter yet. Who's around? That wants to be uh, Twitter in charge of. Who am I crowning the Twitter watcher today? H. Fenton, you on board? All right, you're in charge. Just search up the hashtag Shiny Hunt Versus. And then if you did truly hatch one on first try, then you would screen cap the video Screen cap the video, play it on Twitter. That's the rules, man. Pixar didn't happen. You know, you know the drill. All right, I need more egg babies. And Puff Tun's here too. Okay, what's up, Puff Tun? Good to see ya. Let's go. Number eighteen. Oh man, these cough drops. They're Getting a little stale. Alright, eggs? Eggs. Alright, so we're at what, 18? I got two more? Yeah, I got two eggs in my pocket. Where can you get a ditto from a different language? You gotta trade people. Trade people from all over the world. Expand. There are people in this chat right here that have Pokemon from different languages that you can trade with. Right? Who's watching from another region? As in like Spain or Korea, Germany I believe is one of the languages, France is one of them. There you go, all you gotta do is just ask the, ask the comments if anyone has any extra ones. It's easy. I have been eating cough drops since the direct. I actually had, I had lunch. Believe it or not, I ate before a live stream. I did. Bonus points to whoever can figure out um, what I had for lunch. Are we at 19 or 20? I think we're at 20. No, we're not at 20. Minus one. We. Uh, I did not have that cereal box. Chicken noodle soup was yesterday's dinner, which was really good. Good guess. All of you guys said that. What did I have? I don't think you're going to get it. It's so specific. There's your number 20. What did I have for lunch? First person to guess it right gets a shout out. Okay. Um, mm, you guys are close. Uh, you want a hint? Okay, here's a hint. The hint is bread. All right, I'll give you a hint, and it's bread, so you guys can guess. All right, <laughs> it's like, I mean, what do we? What else do we do to pass the time while shiny hunting? Am I right? We talk about what Abdallah ate for lunch. All right, bread is the hint, ladies and gents. Okay, okay, bon me. I did not have bon me. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck said bon me? Ooh, that's funny. Oh, look at this one. This is Gen 3 over here. <clears throat> oh, dang. Look at this one. Happy birthday to... 
Uh, yeah, okay, you're the new winner. Please name one after you, Adrian. Become a member, Adrian, and I will name one after you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, this one is our next up. This is our next runner-up. We're gonna go Everstone on this bad boy. Okay. It was not buttery toast. I don't think anyone got it. Yet. I don't think anyone got it yet. Fakasha, no. It was not... No. Okay, okay. Luke Gurney. Luke Gurney in the comments. Luke Gurney says burger. Alright. So that's another hint. It was a burger. But what burger was it? What kind of burger was it? <clears throat> Talking about the meat. What was that? Or, like, not meat. Beyond meat, right? <laughs> that was actually a fun game. Alright, so what burger... Oh my gosh, Abdallah, what burger are you... Uh, amazing stats. Yeah, you're going in. This one's going in. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very close, very close. Beyond meat? No, it was not an impossible burger. No, it was not a chicken burger. Uh, it's not a tortoise burger. It's not a beef burger. No, it's not a burger bacon. All right, it was not a hamburger made out of real ham. <laughs> it's not a lamb burger. Baga baga potato potato. Nope. Really? It was not a venison burger. It was not a Whopper. Come on, there we go, John Toomey. It was indeed a turkey burger. Good job. All right, you guys want to play? All right, for for all the marbles, for all the marbles. What was on the burger? What was on the turkey burger? <laughs> this is a crazy game we're playing here. What do we do while we're running around in circles? We talk about lunch. All right. That's fair. What was on it? There was only one thing on it, but technically multiple things if you think about it. That's a hint. All right. What was on it? Let's see. Mike's Hot Honey. No. On a turkey burger? I don't know. That probably would take... It's really good. Barbecue? No, no. No salad. I'll give you another hint. It's um, it's a, it's a Chicago thing. It's what we here in Chicago eat a lot of. And I think I really just gave it away now. I didn't put any cheese. I did not put any ketchup on it. Or seeds. Nope. Seeds. What? Seeds? Okay, weird. Everyone's saying seeds. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope, no mayo, no pickles. Everyone has pickles and mayo. Onion? No, oh, no. Sauerkraut? There we go. Jay McLean got it. Okay, Jay McLean wins. <laughs> the Jay McLean wins. Jardinera. That's it. Done. Okay, and thanks for playing. What did Abdallah have for lunch today? <laughs> Featuring all of you guys while we stand in a circle and run around. Jardinera. It's a it's a blend of jalapenos, cauliflower, uh, peppers, carrots, in like some soybean oil. That is, it's a very spicy. It's a spicy condiment, I should say. It's a spicy condiment that we here in Chicago really enjoy. I don't know if it's necessarily an area thing. You guys have Jardinera where you guys live? It's huge though. Future in Chicago. I have just more recently got on board with liking it. Probably like within the last year. Alright, what is this? Number 21? <laughs> Here's 22. If you guys haven't heard of it, go to your nearest grocery store and ask where the Jardinera is. And tell them if Dallas sent you. 23. So I had I had two turkey burgers for lunch today with Jardinera. What's up, Sam? Yo, that's a cool sticker, man. I think we're at like 24 right now. Someone asked about Pack South. I will be at Pack South, believe it or not. I'll be competing in Stream Stars. It'll be fun. You guys can watch live at twitch.tv slash PAX. I'll be competing in a game called Brawlhalla. Any of you guys play that game?
All right, so I think this is the leftover generation two. Uh, I'm gonna do one more. Oh, I thought I was at I thought I was at 25. I'm at 24. My bad. All right, let's just continue catching this guy, and I won't move the counter up. I'll move it down. Some of you guys play Brawlhalla. Can some of you guys teach me how to play Brawlhalla? Never touched it. <laughs> and I'm gonna be in a Brawlhalla tournament, and I'm gonna come out on top. Never touched the game. I'm I'm good at Smash Bros. I've been playing Smash Bros. since before you were born. But, um... Brawlhalla? Oh, that's something different. So who's gonna teach me how to play? Who's gonna teach me how to play Brawlhalla? Should we do a live stream? Learning how to play Brawlhalla. It kind of sounds like my name. Oh, this is the perfect box. Now it'll fill up perfectly with five eggs. Huh. Whee! So who's the best Brawlhalla player out of all of you guys watching right now? I know there's a Pokemon stream, just out of curiosity. Who's the best? That you can easily say hands down. That you can 1v1 anyone else in this particular... Um comment section, and you can beat them. Who's the best? Who is the best? Brawl Holler. <laughs> A lot of you guys are saying me, duh. <laughs> Yeah, get the game, man. Get the game. And uh, I need, like, a personal coach who's actually the best, so. And let me know your credentials. That makes you a good po personal coach, and then we'll, we'll talk about Brawlhalla. If I can't find a personal coach, then I'll just be like, all right, let's just go on stream. I'll rely on my aptitude in order to get me through a tournament. Your brother got platinum recently? I think getting platinum is, like, a status thing, right? Like, if you're good at the game, you get platinum. <laughs> it's a free game. You can get it on uh, Nintendo eShop. So it's a free game, so I'll be um, I'll be seeing. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Broken combos online for Brawlhalla. All right, I'm gonna look them up. <laughs> All right. So no tweets yet. Really? Really? None of you guys are hatching? Okay, so who's actually hatching along with? Let me know in the comments. This is live. I taught you guys how to get your slowpoke. Your generation one slowpoke. And now you guys know the basics of breeding. So come on over. Mindlessly hatch some eggs with me. While we talk about lunch. Keep going, man. Keep going. Determined to get a shiny Dracovish? Wow. 5,000 resets on that thing? What's your method? What are you doing for shiny Dracovish? Those uh, fossil shinies I heard are very, very valuable. Oh, that's a good idea. Stunt Lee D4. Do you think Game Freak will bring out Sword and Shield with the expansion physically later this year? They'll bust out a plus plus. <laughs> like Yokai Watch 4 plus plus? Of course they will. It's easier to package that way. But 
that price point is gonna be really high, right? That's a high price point. Sitting on a shelf, a $90 game, $69.99. Yeah, right, you must be on your mind if you think people like that price point. Here's a four IV. But I need a, ooh, here, oh, dang, yeah, 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 here we go, all right, all right. We got a taker. This one's good. This one is a four IV with the best including on, um, All right, we got a new, this is our gener our third generation of Slowpoke. Uh, I believe this one here. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do mm, this one through this one. Okay, so we're gonna put in our third generation because he's got even better IVs. So the chances of us getting even um, a better Slowpoke is happening now. Can we breed the perfect slowpoke? Ah, I didn't mean to take ditto. How many times has that happened? Tell me I'm not the only one. She's like, yo, can I make an extra 500 bucks off of you? Here, take this ditto back. And I say, no. This isn't a 4 IV with the plus speed. Excellent. Take this one. And take this ditto. Okay, so we got a new generation. What did we say? This is like third generation Slowpoke? Look at this little golden head guy. Alright, here we go. Just doing some, uh, some movements here. Yeah, we're good. We got like leftover eggs in another box. Like, when are those gonna get hatched? I don't know. We let's go. Okay, gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, there we go. Give me that den. <clears throat> Have I seen the Rise of Skywalker yet? Oh, I did. I saw it on Tuesday. I saw the Rise of Skywalker on Tuesday. And I made the mistake of not watching all of the new Star Wars in a row beforehand. Dang. I just saw the the previous one. I don't remember the name of it, but the previous one with Ray and um, what's his name? I don't know. So I saw the last two Star Wars movies back to back. That's what I did. I wish I would have seen all three of the Star Wars movies, because I don't really remember what happened with Kylo Ren and Han Solo. Like that was like a faded memory of mine. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but. Let's just say, the um, Rise of Skywalker was a cool, it was a really cool movie, it was well done. Although, I didn't like the lighting effects. The lighting effects, like I almost had a seizure while I was sitting down in the movie theater. Legitimately, I was like stroking out. <laughs> like what are they thinking? Those of you guys that have seen Rise of Skywalker, you know that the, at least the first half of the movie was like psh, blinding Porygon. Take the take the episode off the air anime um, lights on there, man. It was so bad. Yeah, the lighting was bad, but the movie was absolutely stunning. Go see it. True story. The um, the theater that I went to had signs at the front door that said, those of you guys coming to see The Rise of Skywalker, the latest Star Wars movie, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, you may want to sit this one out. There was like a little disclaimer there that someone just typed up on a piece of paper and then like taped it onto the window so that everyone knows that, hey, you know what? If you're 
susceptible to an epileptic seizure based off of strobing lights, you're probably gonna get one from watching that movie. <laughs> it's like every time they're like jumping into hyperdrive, it's like flashing white lights. You're like, oh my gosh. Uh, just a regular, we went to a regular theater. Dude, like our regular theater is so good. Really, $5 Tuesdays, man, so good. They do $5 Tuesdays and the theater has heated seats that fully recline. Like you're literally laying down in a bed. That was the coolest theater. You're laying down, it's got a cup holder. Um, the armrests are huge. There's two, um, there's two settings for heating. Press it once for light heat. Press it second time for really high heat. And you can re recline, it's so good, man. And how they can get away with charging five bucks on Tuesday, man. You go to like Regal or any other high-end theater and that's gonna be like a $20 ticket. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, like if you go to Marcus, oh uh, yeah, Marcus is expensive. Here's a four IV with a no good special attack. No, these aren't any good. That's a four IV. I mean, I'll eventually start getting some five IV ones, but. In three generations of these guys, I don't think um, anytime soon. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh man. Aiden's asking for a Master Ball. If any of you guys have a spare Master Ball, help Aiden out, right? A Master Ball for a Beast Ball Slowpoke. All right. Marcus has $5 Tuesdays? Cool. I don't have a Marcus theater near me. But no, it's all good. <laughs> Am I gonna be playing Mario Kart Tour today? No. I took a break from that game, man. I got three days left of ranked mode. Or like, I got four days left of ranked mode, right? We'll probably do it on the weekend. Yo, Rolio Ender, hey, you know, we've been waiting for a brand new member today. Let's all rise and welcome the new member, Rolio Ender, right? I hope I pronounced that right. Look at that, I'm ascending, baby. I brought that animated gift back. <laughs> you guys remember where that's from? <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so Rolio Ander, you're gonna get a, a Slowpoke named after you. Are we gonna start up a member train? Come on, we used to do these back in the day when this game first launched. Who's coming on board today? Let's go. <laughs> the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational Tournament. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. Can't wait. Remember the flagpole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rolly Oander, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Slow Poker Tin. All right, this one is uh, number 36, named after Rolio. Ro? Leo, Ander, right? I hope I spelled that right. Roll Leo Ander. Yeah, there we go. You got a slowpoke named after you. Congratulations. Come on. Wake up, slowpoke. 37. <clears throat> Shadow, what uh, what exploits are you referencing? Did they patch any exploits? I'm curious. I don't pay attention to the hacked scene or the exploit scene of Pokemon Sword and Shield. No, we do everything legit here. The old fashioned way. 
It's a tried and true way, man. Here we go, 39er. Right? Gimme! Oh, man. He's not all gold. Hello, wait. Ah, uh, here's number 40. Yoink! Rolio Ander. The emoji next to your name is a loyalty badge. It's not an emoji, but it's a loyalty badge. And the longer you are a member, the more advanced the loyalty badge is. So you'll notice that you got like this little egg hatching right now. And the more you become a member, uh, if you take a look at Tyra tubing, you got a little Milo that comes out. He's my little orange cat. And if you're a member for a longer time, Milo has like a crown on his head, which is pretty cool. So take a look at it. Members, where are you at? Comment right now. All the members, just throw out an emote. So we can show with those. Oh my gosh! Oh dang! Yo, Rolio Ander though! What? How do I get a 5 IV? And look, we didn't check the IV. That's named after you. That's pretty crazy. That's our generation 4. Oh man, that is so good! Well. Put on the breeding marks. Let's go. All right, put him in. <laughs> put him in. <laughs> you got a date with Ditto, my guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You got a date with Ditto, my guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I'd like to take my Pokemon back, please. All right. Oh, man. You got named after a good one, man. Look. You're going to be leading the charge on the next generation of... Oh, what are we on? Generation 4? I don't know how that even worked out, man. Roll your ender. I guess I'll take these little rejects here. Okay, here we go. Dang. Jen Bella 82 playing that ring fit? When did you get ring fit? I was supposed to do one yesterday. I was supposed to do a ring fit adventure yesterday, but... Like, with me being sick over here, there's no way I'm going to be exercising. I need to go take a nap. I need to sleep. Trust me, once I get this shiny, or once we beat out 100 eggs, I'm done. <clears throat> I'm done -zo. I'm out. Hey, Rolio Ender, thank you so much. Uh, says you deserve the support. I've considered becoming a member for a while and thought now is the perfect time. Hey. Anything's appreciated. Thank you so much. Ugh. <clears throat> wow. For Christmas. You got Ring Fit for Christmas. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that a present from yourself? A present from your significant other? A present from your kids? <laughs> or was it a present to your entire family? It's the gift that keeps on giving. The gift of exercise and being healthy. And the gift of planks on the floor. Oh my gosh. Dying. Ray Noble. You can you can actually get the slowpoke super early on in the game. You don't have to beat the game. He's a level 12 and I think you can get him really really early. What do we have? 41? Who's counting? <laughs> Rishi says, would you sell your soul for unlimited shiny Pokemon? No. There are hackers that do that all the time. <laughs> Why? 
Why do you sell your soul when hackers have unlimited Chinese? Is Zacian and Zamazenta, are they able to be shiny? I thought they were shiny locked. Like they were locked out of being shinies from their encounters or whatever. I don't know, I, I don't actually remember reading anything on it, but that was my assumption. I don't know if he's coming today, guys. I think Slowpoke is asleep somewhere. I think Slowpoke is asleep somewhere. Oh, this one's good too. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a really good one. Huh. That's a 5 IV one. You're special. You're coming with me, boy. I guess you're coming with me over here. What is he? One, two, three, four, this? That's pretty decent. It's not the best, but it'll work. We're in this purebred factory over here. I'm trying to rock these purebreds. <clears throat> Wee! All right, moving on. What do we got? What do we got? No winners on Twitter as of yet. Dang. Oh, I should be at 45. There we go. Come on, you mustard slowpoke. Yeah, that really is what it is. This guy deserves to be named Mustard. Not that old fogey. Not that old fogey. All right, tell me. Tell me, what do you think they were thinking? The English localization uh, branch of Game Freak. Tell me, what do you think they were thinking about naming that old man Mustard? What was honestly going on through their minds? Let's talk about this. Let's have an actual discussion. So, in case you guys missed the news, the <clears throat> Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield is getting an expansion where you're going to be able to go to a new area, become an apprentice in a dojo, be given a legendary Pokemon, and you're going to have a new adventure, right? So... What? And his name is Mustard. Why? Ash Ketchup versus Master Mustard? I don't, I don't understand. Elaborate. He doesn't seem very mean, but I wonder if it's a reference to the Beatles song. Mean Mr. Mustard. That would be a crazy throwback. If someone, if Masuda-san was a fan of the Beatles. I mean, he's a fan of like what? Gene Simmons, obviously. Or Omori-san, like, they're both a fan of Gene Simmons. I wouldn't put it past them to make it mean Mr. Mustard. I've never heard of that song, but if that's what you say, then I'm sure. <laughs> Some guy in the office was eating a hot dog and wanted mustard, so he was, uh, he asked one of the directors what they were, yeah, he was probably eating a hot dog with mustard. Something like it. What are we gonna name this guy? Oh. Let's name him Mustard.
wide mustard. Some guy in the office got fired today. It is true. Intern did get fired today. Yeah, he's gone. Intern's like, when... <laughs> when should I end the live stream on YouTube? Notice how it wasn't a premiere. I don't think the, um, the Pokemon team knows what a YouTube premiere is. <laughs> they can make it a premiere. But... Oh, whoa, hey, okay, hi, hi. Nice to see you. That's actually really good. You don't need speed on a speed stat on a slowpoke. That's decent. And that's also decent, too. We're, we're getting some 5 IV guys here, huh? We're in this. This is pretty good. All right, you're coming with me. This is... Yeah, here we go. Decent. And you're coming over here too. This one's good. Okay. Not too bad. <clears throat> okay, so here... I need to get some of these guys going. How about this? Ready, go! Wee! Alright, so we're, the, we're in our fourth generation. I think I have a 5 IV inside there, right? So we got two 5 IV Pokemon. Breeding right now. And I think we're good. I definitely don't have a 6 IV Ditto. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, ball guy is Chairman Rose? I don't know about that. I think, um... I don't think that's the case. Has he ever been in the same room with ball guy? He could. How am I going to kick this sore throat, guys? Oh, no, man. I'm dying over here, man. Let's go. Give me this thing. Sleep? I slept last night. Play Mario Kart? <laughs> should see my desk right now. It's filled with these wrappers. I'm gonna, yeah, stop talking. That might help. Alright. Just gonna go over here and fall asleep for a little bit. <laughs> Ball guy is Ash's dad. <laughs> Have I tried turning your throat off and on again? <laughs> yeah. I tried the reset. I tried the control alt delete. Didn't work out. What number is that? 51? <sighs> Come on, baby. Now. Not a. This guy's a ball guy. His face looks like a ball guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to alt F4 that throw. We gotta alt F4 whatever the sickness is, man. You down with the sickness? Tired of looking at these guys. And we're only 55 in. And we're only 55 in. You know, I'll be happy if we breed a perfect one. This one's good. Oh, this one's real good. Welcome to the team. He's just not the one I want. Just fitting them in where I can, am I right? Fitting them in where I can. Alright, what number are we going to get him in? We're a little past the halfway point. When are we getting him, guys? Give me a number in the comments. There's a lot of you guys here. Let's hit it. Hot dogs? How are you going to ask for hot dogs? I don't think I've ever had a hot dog from Sonic. <clears throat> you know what I should be doing? I should be raising up my Pokemon in Pokemon Masters, too. <laughs> Yo, you gotta be multitasking this, right? Yo, that training event's going away soon. Am I right? Come on, man. How many guys play Pokemon Masters? Let me know in the comments. What's that, seven? Pokemon Masters is good. It's a good game. Alana! Oh, you you started playing it because I recommended it? Oh, that's really good. Are you enjoying it? Come on, man. Give me this dumb thing. Just circle the guy next to Luigi. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that much. <clears throat> I wish Mario Kart can play itself like Pokemon Masters does. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's right. <laughs> FMA B777 has got it right. You got Pro Controller in left hand, Pokemon Masters in right hand, Cough Drop in the mouth, 
live stream happening over here. Oh, <laughs> it's totally gamer time. <laughs> what you know about it? You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, hey, five of these are coming out today. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We got a couple. Five IVs are coming out today. Not the not the one I'm asking for, but it's it's good. This one's decent. This would be what we call a breed jacked. Where like it's good, but it's not the one that you want. I want one that's like non best in attack. So we go full modest. But who knows? We don't even know what the heck this Pokemon is, right? What's he gonna turn into? These are good so far. Separate. Yeah, this one's good. Alright, anyway. The All American Breed Jacks. Let's go. Huh. Nick says, it seems pretty lame that we can't evolve until we get the DLC. What do you expect? Come on, man. It's a great little incentive. I think it's kind of lame that we can't get all the legendaries until the DLC. Like, okay. Come on. <clears throat> Am I gonna get Slowpoke with Sobble? No. You know the rules of the Sobble only challenge, Ace Cool Trainer Brown. You know those rules, you've been watching the episodes. Um. Almost time, guys. We're at an hour up. We. Oh man, Ming. Ming, that's a good question. Have I leveled up my Solgaleo? I have. I have. I finished him. I finished him yesterday or the day before. He's done. It's level 120. Sync. Proficiency, 5 out of 5. Extra stat ups, 20 out of 20. Oh, he's done. If only I had time to do that during Mewtwo event. I just, I guess I gotta wait until Mewtwo strikes back. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, see what I did there? Yeah, Lance is ready too. Lance is almost there. He's at like level 119. Oh, he's very close. Slowpoke only challenge for the expansion. I would probably do... Like the legendary only challenge for the expansion. I need my little thing over here. Oh. I need a little footstool. Uh, footstool? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Footstool. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Sit back and relax. What are we at? 62? 63? Dang. About to hit Nintendo 64. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Nintendo 64! Oh, man. I'm gonna play Temtem. Not gonna lie. 
Not gonna lie, I love Temtem. It's a good game, man. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. What if Game Freak knew that the alpha testing for Temtem ended today? And they're just like, yo, I know a lot of you guys want to play Temtem. But we got this news that's going to be better better worth your time than playing Temtem today. I was honestly going to do a live stream for Temtem. Good game, man. Don't sleep on it. Okay, I got nothing but a bunch of slow pokes. I think Temtem's is is Temtem not free to play? I'm under the impression that it is. Can somebody guys can you confirm that, Biwa? If there's a price for it? There's not a public alpha, no, it was just a private alpha. I don't know when it's gonna release though. I gotta look through my email. Have I ever fallen asleep during a video? No, what are you even talking about? How could anyone fall? What? Hello. What am I gonna do with all the slowpoke? We're gonna release them into the wild. And they're just gonna block all the trains. And then we're gonna force newbie trainers to come on over and toss a premier ball at them in order to catch them. And it'll be a never ending cycle because those newbie trainers will want the shiny golden variant. All right, trading five IV Galarian Slowpokes for Master Balls. Go. I have no use for Master Balls. 61. I mean, 66. So there is a price point for Temtem. It's not like a free game. Do we know Slowpoke's base stats? Galarian Slowpoke's base stats. Do we know that yet? I'm sure you could jump in into a calculator online and look. If you level this guy up to a hundred or something. Number 69. Nada. Seventy, here we go, big seven zero. Dang, that would have been so cool. Hello, lady. It's me, Mama Luigi. I'm here for some eggs. Mama Luigi, number one. 
Oh, 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 that's pretty good for an attacker. If you're going physical attacker. And, yeah, these are all, like, 5 IV dudes. Like, they're good. I don't need to, like, mark them, but, like, I know I've got some really decent ones over here. Towards the later boxes, they get better. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. I'm gonna get the perfect one. I think I'll either I'll either stop when we get the perfect one or when we get the shiny. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Those of you guys who have downloaded the Mystery Dungeon demo, how do you like it so far? How long is the demo? I need all that information to plan ahead if we're gonna be doing that later on today or tomorrow. Mama Big Nose Larry, what's the price for Temtem? Come on. 40 bucks? 30 bucks? Thirty-five bucks, thank you. Oh, Thirty-five bucks for that game, wow. Oh man, I'm in. I'm absolutely in once that comes out on Switch. Do they have a release date for Switch at all? Or is it just TBA still? I would say get on it. As much of a fanboy as I am of Pokemon. Yo, watch out. Watch out, Temtem's coming, man. Although I don't, I can't get over the names though. The names of all the different Temtem are just like, bonkers. Get this guy or what? You Tem Temers. Alright, here we go. This is 71 through 75. Come on, crash your wake. Ooh! That's the good one. Look, he's shiny. Partially. That's the shiny one. You mean to tell me that I've been hatching these shinies the entire time? Killer Place, can you be a mod? One day. Thanks for donating. One does not simply ask to be a mod, but I've, I'm gonna be opening that up soon. We're gonna be expanding in a little bit. I've been talking about it for a little bit. Maybe once I feel better, I'll make a video on it. All right, get ready. I'm almost out of Ricolas. Ricola. Wow, talk about marketing, huh? Talk about advertising into the brain. You ever think about that? That watching television commercials has been implanted into your brain. Kappa, come at me, huh? Impressionable young souls. Dang, dude. You watch TV when you're a kid, right? And then you just remember all the commercials and the jingles and stuff. It's crazy to think about. Was that 75? Oh, dang. It was a physical attacking one. Oh, man. Too many boxes of these fools. Where are you? There you are. Next five. Uh-oh. 
So Aiden, what have you gotten today? Everyone that's trading at trade code 0026. Talk to me. Give me a detailed report. You know, that'd be crazy if Google Assistant actually listens in on your conversations and gives you ads based off of what you're talking about. I've heard some like small like reports here and there of that, but I don't know, man. That's scary. I just ran into a small fly. Temtem, early 2021? No way. Give me this thing. Temtem, January 21st? Oh, that's not too long from now. On, con on uh, Steam? I'll play it on Steam. I don't care. Get a head start. There we go. I was playing on Steam earlier. I don't know, it was a little weird, the whole setup, because like Steam takes up a whole monitor of mine for some reason. Not really what I'm used to. Come on, man. I'm almost done, like let's go. Can we get this thing? Okay, Anime Night Aiden says, I've gotten a 6 IV Perfect Nature Mr. Mime, 3 Gigantamax Butterfree, someone traded me their Gigantamax Charmander, a hidden ability Cursola, 1 Gigantamax Dreadnought, 4 Gigantamax Snorlax, and a Strong Jaw Dracovish. Dang, you guys are being real good to Aiden. Holy moly. For those Beast Ball Slowpokes? Dang, man, count me in. Give me some of those. <laughs> the only thing I actually need is a Dracovish. Like, I heard that thing's pretty good and competitive. But, um, that's hilarious. I don't even know if we're at 78. We're at 79? 80? 80. Okay, good job. We still don't have him. We still don't have them. Thanks for the good luck wishes, everyone. Thank you. Oh, there's the one! That's the one right there. That's the special attacker. That's the perfect IVs. Excellent. It's not like six IV, but that's the one I was waiting for. This is the competitive uh, nature one. Uh, let's take a look at her. This is good. Yeah, Gluttony and Modest. Go for it. Awesome. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to put you in work in progress. You advance. You advance to my work in progress box. I got a lot of these guys ready. 
Oh man, I don't even play this game anymore. I should. You guys like this content? That's kind of cool, right? Pokemon. Just too busy with other games, you know? You know how it goes. That's good. So that's going to be a special attacker. Modest. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know what Slowpoke's going to evolve into, guys. It looks kind of purpley, right? That one's kind of poisony, huh? I wouldn't put it past them to make it into Steel-type. Because everything in their moms is Steel-type this generation, which is kind of cool. Uh, slow King? What if it was actually Slow Queen? Based off of the Queen of England. What if I told you that it evolves into Slow Queen? Would you guys believe me? Based off the Queen of England, Slow Queen. That'd be pretty insane, huh? Sloke. <laughs> Sloke Ween. <laughs> Sloke. S L O K E, right? Sloke Ween. W E E N. Yeah, YW1, man. That was a jam back in the day. It was a good time. Where did everyone go, though? Everyone left. <laughs> everyone left, man. Eighty-two. How do we know it's golden? I don't know. It's a fake picture. 83! Come on, where's he at? We're almost at 100 at 2 hour mark. Let's go. Come on, Crasher Wake. I'm just burning Crasher Wake right now. This guy's getting owned. Nada. Number 85. Let's go. You know, we could be here for hours. You know, here's the thing, right? There should be some sort of programming in the game that's just like, hey, Hey, within the next day, you'll have higher chances of breeding a shiny. Why can't you code that into the game? You know how many people would jump on board with that? Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you agree. Why can't it be that way? Oh, this one's a 5 IV. That's pretty good. Oh! <laughs> All right! All right! Yeah! Woo, boy! All right. That was pretty good. Anyone and their moms can get a shiny slowpoke. But, can you get a purebred, perfect slowpoke? Man, this one's advancing to the work in progress. All right, deal. Yeah, man. Yeah, there he is. That's the one. All right, yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect, perfect. Let's go! Move, you are going to work in progress. Man, get the other one out of there. No, I can I can evolve them both, right? Oh, okay, well actually... 
I should I should start breeding this one. <laughs> this should be our generation like five. That's good. Yeah, it's real good. Hey man, if I got anything out of it, we bred a perfect Pokemon within an hour and forty minutes. I have a new Galarian, so you know what? I don't care if it's not shiny. It's just about as hard to find, I would say. Someone do the odds calculations. Um. <clears throat> Someone do the odds calculations. What's uh, what's harder to find? A Masuda Method Shiny breed? Or a Perfect IV bred? I don't know. It's cool, though. Real cool. Dang, that's cool. That's real cool. <laughs> Give me that! Give me that small child, baby. I like that. Here, you go to the daycare. Okay, I want to take my Pokemon back. Take this guy. All right, Riolander, Roliolander, you did well. You helped us breed a perfect Pokemon, and to that, I thank you. How do I move an item really quick? You can do that, right? Okay, there we go. Cool. We got a brand new breeding pair. Dang, come on, man. Imagine, imagine if that one, this one right here, this perfect baby was the shiny. Imagine that. Local man breeds perfect shiny. It's like a Shundo in, um, in Pokemon Go. It's insane, there's no way. This one's a good one, I like him. He'll stay for a little bit. He didn't advance to work in progress, but he's still a good one. Dang! <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine that! In about, what, four generations of Slowpokes? We are able to get uh, our perfect breed. Oh, dang. Judgmental Deity with the math. Is that right? 1 in 96? 1 in 92 for the, um... The 6 IV? Oh, that's not too bad. And 1 in 512, so Shinies are much harder. Oh, that's absolutely true then. Yeah, yeah. If that math is accurate, man. That's rough. We all right, so I'm down. But see, that's what we set out to do, right? We set out to breed a really cool one. We got a whole bunch of cool five IV breed jacks, which is awesome. And um, I mean, at the end of the day, I won't be disappointed if we don't get it. You can't expect to get um, a shiny slowpoke in under a hundred eggs. You can't expect that. You have to roll with the punches, and the game gives you what it gives you. There's nothing else. That is what it is, man. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. 21st, though. For Temtem? Oh, I'll be there. That's like the week back after Pack South. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yo, you got that the foot long hot dog? Biwa? Dang! Cheating with that mustard? <laughs> with the ball guy emote? You would. You would. Come on! I'm done! My throat hurts!
Come on, man. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Your clothes. Give them to me. Now. <laughs> Your clothes. <laughs> Who said that? And in what movie? Your clothes. Give them to me. Now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the first Terminator movie. <laughs> I know it was Arnold for sure. <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> the Terminator. The Terminator. I think we're 89. Is PAX during- is- is Shiny Piplup Day during PAX? That's gonna stink. I don't know if I'm gonna get any. If that's the case. What day is Community Day for Pokemon Go? It better not be a Friday. That would stink. It's a Saturday, right? I don't even know the good spots in Texas. Who's in Texas? Oh, we got two 5 IVs. That's not too bad. I don't, honestly don't care about these guys anymore. I just want that shiny. Let's go. I've read my perfect, so all this, all the rest of this is just noise. Yo, who's in San Antonio, Texas? Alright. Let's make a plan right now. San Antonio for packs. You don't need tickets. It's a Sunday? Hmm. If it's a Sunday, then that's fine. Give me that. Anyone, San Antonio, no one? Come on, someone was asking earlier about PAX. <clears throat> Where's Octo Gamer Girl at? I think she's local to San Antonio. Henry B. Kendrick? Yo, Kendrick, you're local to there? Alright. Kendrick, let's go, man. You gotta give me some spots. Where's, like, the best spot to, like, walk around in a circle? And don't say buy Whataburger. I hate Whataburger. What do I know? I go to San Antonio every year for the river walking packs, so... I know the area semi-well. So you'll have to let me know. I'm conserving my voice for when we get this shiny. Am I a 91? I'm not even counting anymore. Ninety one, man. This is it. It's up to you guys if we want to continue and do like another 25 or so. But this is the end of the line. This is how much time I budgeted for today. I could totally go for a nap, but it's up to you. What if we got it on like 99 and 100? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be insane? You guys are fans of Whataburger? You guys haven't had Portillo's. Just saying. 
The only thing I don't like about Whataburger, I like Whataburger, right? I don't like waiting an hour in line at PAX for Whataburger, though. The downtown San Antonio Whataburger. All right, here we go. Dang, look at these, look at these two identicals, these twins right over here. Pretty cool. They're both physical attacking um, IV nature, so that's pretty cool. Anyone want them? They're yours. For the low, low price of one Master Ball. Nah, you just give me your Beast Ball, that's cool. <laughs> beast Ball Slowpoke, huh? What a concept. I wonder if you can do um, Apricorns for Beast Balls. What do you guys think? Are they gonna do that? Portalos, Portalos, gotta go to Portalos. Slow Prince, Slow Minister, Slow Boss, Slow Director. Could be. If you can trade on the code 0026 for a free slowpoke and a beast ball, that would be crazy. Yeah, but if you guys are <clears throat> if you guys are trading with Aiden, just make sure you give him something cool, alright? Give him a stray shiny that you don't need. Welcome to Good Burger. The home of good burgers. I don't think I've ever seen Good Burger with Keenan and Kel. Is that what their names are? It's an old movie. <laughs> no, I've not seen that movie. Ever. Oh, you like Kumas? Oh, Tattooed Nadia? Wait, wait, wait. Who? Where? What Kumas are you talking about? You talking about Chicago Kumas? What you know about Kumas? Speaking my language if you're talking about Kumas. <clears throat> Speaking my language, here we go, last five, ladies and gents. Enjoy. About to spit out this water if I get it. No way, man. You'd be a fool to think that you'd get a shiny in under a hundred eggs. This is random, it's chance. Where are the rest of them? Okay. Oh man, here we go, it's the climax, will we get him? Ninety-seven eggs. All right, let's take some bets. Here we go. Will we get him in the next three eggs? There's no pity rate with shinies in Pokemon, so you can hatch a, a million eggs and you still won't get them. Here we go, drum roll. <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> Wow, 
Why are these eggs, like, so far apart? I got one. I got like two more eggs. What are you guys doing? Hash. Here we go. Oh no, man. Oh no, man. I'm getting nervous. One more egg, the last egg! Come on, Mama Luigi. Here we go, ladies and gents, drum roll. You can't possibly think it was gonna hatch out of there. You can't. It's shiny hunting, whatever. You just gotta have the most patience ever, and I don't have that. Not when I'm sick. Alright, how many more eggs do you guys want to do? That's number 100. We hatched our perfect. Which is great. I love that. How many more eggs do you guys want to do, guys? I got 800 of you guys watching. I do this all for you guys, so... <clears throat> Whatever you guys want. Let's go. Okay, how many more eggs are we gonna do? Look at these. Oh, five IV babies. That's not too bad. Oh, dang. Yeah, these like fifth generation and fourth generation little slowpokes here, they had really good babies. Hey, you know what? These stray eggs. What do you know about these stray eggs? What do you guys want to do? Like 10 more? Do the remaining eggs? Do 100 more? I'm going to be here for another two hours. You're crazy. Alright, here we go. Extended live stream. Let's hit it. We'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more. Did I tell you that nothing good came in my shop today in Mario Kart Tour? And I've been getting less and less common gliders in my shop every day. I wanted to max those things out, man. Not happening. Less and less common gliders in my shop. You know, Mario Kart Tour. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it anymore. There's like one more day of frubies. Oh, I have to buy! I have to buy my- I have to spend my last frubies. Alright. I did end up netting about 90 frubies, which is pretty good, so... Yeah, Kendrick, find me, okay? Uh, I think my friends list is full on Pogo, but find me and we'll uh, we'll get a whole bunch of other people. You got to Kendrick, you got to go scout out some places though. Like I'm talking about dense areas with like four or five stops in like a very small walking distance that we just keep on going in a circle. I want to take a look at that. San Antonio, not too far away. I don't know what the weather is going to be like next week either. For Pogo in San Antonio. Is it going to be cold? Because I'm not going to want to go outside. So I'll need a backup plan. Like, give me a gigantic mall. <laughs> give me a mall. 
Well, there's Pokestops within a mall, an indoor area where I can play Pokemon Go. What's that, 102? 101? I don't know, man. All right, do the research. So no one's won yet. My two reporters, Puffton and H. Fenton, have reported that no one has won this versus. Out of all of us viewers and me, no one's got this shiny yet. And if you did, make sure you guys tweet with the hashtag, hashtag shiny hunt versus, with a video of you hatching it. Or some pictures. Oh dang. Weird. HD Rumble. One oh five. Still nothing out of 105. That's really insane. All right. Hey, my Brendan and Trico just got up to level 120 in Pokemon Masters. Brendan and Trico is a good sync pair. I like them a lot. Yeah, all of these guys are five IVs now. Look at that. This whole batch, this batch of babies are good babies. Yeah, dude. I got all your, for all your Galarian Slowpoke needs, look no further. I've got loads of them that are ready to go. <laughs> These purebreds, am I right? These five IV purebreds, man, let's go. Oh yeah, hold on. I need some Pokemon. Um. <clears throat> Wee! All right, let's do let's do a couple more. I can do about like fifteen, maybe twenty-five. I can do twenty-five. I'm I'm kind of feeling like twenty-five. It's kind of like pulling on gotcha, you know. It's like pulling on gotcha. So now I need to level up my how. How am I gonna level up my how? <laughs> How and Raichu, man? So good. Such a good sync pair. Can I auto battle with how? <laughs> These are things I'm thinking when I'm out here multitasking like that. My how is 97. It's pretty good. But my real question is... What's going on with Player and Pikachu, though? That's my real question. Do you guys have that answer? The max level in Pokemon Masters is 120. You know, I'm saving up my daily vouchers for Pikachu. Just cause. They're gonna put some sort of good use for him. Why would they just give us like his sync um, proficiencies? If not for some sort of reason.
Dude. He's not coming. What's going on, man? I want this gold child. Pogo shiny rates are better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. There we go. The pure breeder. Ladies and gents, call me the pure breeder. That's great. Well, now I've got a fodder for a work in progress of, what's his name? Slow King and Slow Bro. Yo, look, check this out. Back to back, baby. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's breeding right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is busy. <clears throat> That's real good. So we got another pure bread. Best all the way down. What's that worth on the market right now? What's that worth? Uh, shiny Gigantamax with a Master Ball attached? I would say. Alright, first taker. Shiny G-Max with a Master Ball attached for this best purebred, modest Slowpoke. From yours truly in a Premier Ball. Dang. That's cool, right? Shiny Gigantamax. <laughs> Shiny Gigantamax with the Master Ball attached. Five of them. <laughs> Where am I going? I have a lot of, like, eggs. These could all be Shiny Eggs, man. Get them out of here. <clears throat> Dang, dude. We got two perfects. We bred two perfect, but it's not enough. Oh, what happened? I thought I lost. I thought I won. Hmm. How and Raichu, Pikachu and Player, Lance and Dragonite. Top electric <clears throat> level. <clears throat> Auto battle. Go. Alright, <laughs> give me that shiny G-Max. <laughs> Let's go. A hundred eggs? Dude. I keep on losing against price. The price is right, man. Price is old. This is a problem. What if I had Pokemon Masters like on the screen playing right now? <laughs> Along with this? How crazy would that be? <clears throat> Here we go. 
Auto battle just doesn't know how to play sometimes. It's kind of weird. Give me that, dude. We bred two perfects, but no shiny, man. That perfect could have been a shiny. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, man. Yo, get this gold crown off my slowpoke. Yo, I'm about to put this guy's face on a milk carton. Because we can't find him. It's not coming home either. How rare is a shiny? About 1 in 500-ish. But even if it was 1 in 500, that does not mean that you're going to get... If you hatch 500, you're going to guarantee one. There's no pity rate. If you hatch 7,000, you won't get it. For us to think that we get one in 100? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, 512. <clears throat> With Masuda and Shiny Charm. Dang. I don't think there's a perfect nature. I think it's too early to tell. I don't know what the new Slowpoke space stats are going to be. Like the Slowbro evolutions or whatever. Was that 115? Thank you. We don't know what the base stats are going to be for the new Slowpoke and Slowbro. Are they going to be like physical attackers or are they just going to be like the exact same thing as they were in the previous generations? I got a lot of eggs, man. I gotta calm down on collecting these eggs. I got five there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do this really quick. Um, move you there, you there, you there. So it's a little bit easier. Oh no, guys. I gotta get How to level 115. I gotta limit break How, man. He's actually the last character that I chose to limit break. How has just done so much work for me in this game. <laughs> in Pokemon Masters. How is good. Like, no one even likes How in Pokemon Sun and Moon, right? No one likes that kid. Oh! Nasty. <laughs> Why does no one like how? I think he was annoying in Pokemon Sun, wasn't he? Did anyone legitimately enjoy his his character? And his unhealthy obsession with Malasadas? <laughs> He's like, hey player. Wanna get some Malasadas? No how. I don't want any Malasadas right now. But have you tried the Malasadas over here? No how. I haven't. I don't want your Malasadas, guy. He was like, he's the polar opposite, I felt, of like Gary Oak, right? Or Blue. Not Gary. Gary and Blue are different people, aren't they? Aren't they the same? Are they different? I don't remember. Just like Red is not Ash. Um, yeah, they're like polar opposites. Like, he's like the super nice rival. Dude. We're not getting this guy. I just don't, I don't think it's coming today. It's okay. 
As long as I showed you guys the method of how to get him, that's all that matters. Now you guys know. We'll do 125. I'll hatch my remaining eggs and then we'll call it. I don't really want to have any eggs inside my boxes, so we'll hatch the remaining eggs and we'll call it a day. I need to go take a nap. Come on, man. Ah! Forgive me. Come on, man. Here it is, dude. We need this. Thank you. I hope you guys have said it bless you. We need this! I'm getting sicker by the minute. Give me my gold child. I will cherish him. I will set him as my Pokemon that I can walk around with on the overworld. I will set him as the Pokemon partner that I can walk around with in the overworld. Sir Yas, welcome. I think that's your name. <clears throat> what's uh, what's the name? Eleven. <laughs> welcome. Thanks so much for coming. There's a slowpoke named after you. <laughs> it's an interesting name. Tell me how to pronounce that. <laughs> It sounds like something I, I want to say, but it could be something else. Anyway, everyone welcome. Uh, brand new member, thank you so much for being here. Um. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Yo. Yo, brand new member. I kid you not. Yo, I kid you not. <clears throat> Brand new member got named after, without looking at it, got named after a perfect Pokemon. Dang, dude, that's the power of new membership, right, Ming? Dang! Alright, well, you know what? You're going. Get your sorry into this WIP box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, jokes aside. Get your sorry into the work in progress box. Wow, what a funny guy I am, huh? That's funny to you, huh? Some of you guys get that? That's kind of where I thought the name was coming from, but that may be your actual name. Where are you in the chat? Talk to me. Tell me your name. All right, no more accepting eggs from this lady. She's polluting me. All right, I gotta get rid of these eggs. No more accepting eggs. We're just gonna go on a journey. A ring fit adventure journey. <clears throat> and then we're out. The last 10 eggs. I'm out of here. See ya! Let's go say hi to Snorlax. Maybe we'll make it all the way to the Onyx that has uh, ruined many trainers at the very beginning of the game. Raise your hand in the comments if you got owned by Onyx at the very beginning of the game. I know I did. I'm like, oh, sweet, an Onyx. This is easy. Ah! 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 You thought his name was pronounced Sirius? It could be Sirius. That's not what I got at first, but... <clears throat> Where are you, Sirius? Sirius 11, show yourself. Hey, buddy! What's up, dude? Look it. I'm... I'm as tall... <clears throat> I'm as tall as a Snorlax. Hey, big guy! What's up, dude? You wanna play catch? 
Let's play Ring Around the Snorlax. I mean, we could. We could hatch our eggs like this. Come and get me, big boy. Get your exercise on today, huh? Nada. Become a member and you can get a Pokemon named after you. <clears throat> a perfect Pokemon. Dude, the two members that came today, you got really good Pokemon and we didn't even know. Dang. Someone become a member for the shiny luck. Let's go. This is the end of the stream, now or never. Yeah, why can't we do... Why aren't there ride Pokemon in this game? Why aren't there ride Pokemon in this game? Why can't I ride on a Snorlax's belly? Like you could in Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. <clears throat> Here we go. Shiny now. Endless Summer. Gigavolt Havoc. Dang, dude. We're at the end of our game here. This is honestly the end. I'm not going to extend this anymore. <clears throat> we limit broke with 125 when our original budget was, oh my gosh, was 100. I don't know what generation these eggs are, but... Oh, look at this. That's a real slow poke. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, there's your trick room slow poke. That's good. Wow, there's your trick room slow poke. No good speed. My goodness, that's awesome. Um, there's your trick room slow poke. And yeah, he's good. I mean, I don't know if you ever want to use him in a trick room, but. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Made of real gorilla chest. All right. Um, here we go. Oh, this is going to be pretty exciting. Look, there's one more egg. Oh, this is interesting. Wow, 131. All right, Snorlax, let's go. Come on, get your exercise, boy. Big cat. Looking like Rocco, dude. Let's go. Big boy. Oh, okay. Whee. Come on, big guy. Give me those leftovers. Uh-huh. Come on, Pokey. Oh! I said looking like Rocco, and another cat comes on board. Interesting. Is this like the cat den area? Come on, Snorlax. Snore laxatives. Ah. Do 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 do. Snorlax is actually pretty good at pivoting too. Snorlax can turn on a dime. We've seen Snorlax with his eyes open before, right? I don't think I've ever seen Snorlax like walking around like this before. Usually he's just on his side laying down waiting for that polka flute. Right? <laughs> polka flute tune. I bet you don't even know how to hum it. I bet you don't. Come on, dude. These are my last six eggs, so GG's. It's all good. We tried. As long as you guys know the method, that's all that matters to me. You can't soft reset on him. He's shiny locked at the station. But once you get him, you can get him as a shiny from an egg. It's possible. I just don't have the luck. <clears throat> and that's fine. I can accept that.
Hey, big guy, come on. Snorlax luck, let's go. <clears throat> All right, 128. We're going until we're out of eggs. And I'm not picking up any more for the nursery, so I, we're going to 131. Last three. Three, two, one. Go. No way. No way. Absolutely not. Hey, big guy, I know, I know you want to see this golden child. I know you want to see it. I've been waiting for the last two hours to see it. There's 130 out of 100, our original budget. We've blown our budget, but, but, ah! <laughs> hey, I mean, run into a Snorlax, get shiny luck, am I right? Spin around in a circle and you hatch a shiny Pokemon, that's how it works. Now he's gone, he just disintegrated. Well, if anything, we hatched out two shiny, uh, two perfects, a couple great five IVs, and we've got one perfect for um, Trick Room Team. Am I going to rock him for a Trick Room Team? Probably not. But I've got one just in case. So here we go. The last egg! Let's see some last egg hype in the comments. Give me an egg emote. Give me a ball guy emote. Give me a premier ball. Whatever you guys have. Let's go. Let's think about it in our heads. This has to be it. This is our last egg. Here we go. What will I do if it's a shiny? I don't know. I should do something really crazy. But this is it. This is it. We need to go and spin around this Dreadnaw like five times, and then it's going to be a shiny. Oh, no. Not five times. Not enough. Oh, did we get three perfects? Is that right? I don't even remember. We got so many perfects. All right. Come on, baby. It's time. Here we go. Hype in the chat. It's not gonna be it. It's not gonna be it. And that's okay because we had fun. And it was the journey along the way. Ladies and gents, 133, uh, 131 of these slow pokes. It's, it's kind of addicting. I would honestly want to do them again if I wasn't feeling a little sick. I would honestly do them. But, guys, that's not the end of Pokemon content on my channel. It's definitely not. We are going to be playing through these expansions, and you know we will. Look at this one! It's another- <laughs> Look at that! He's another, um, Trick Room variant with a perfect IV set for that. So that's cool. Um, so he turned out to be our Trick Room. Ha ha. Tricks on us. Alright? Tricks on us. Alright, <clears throat> guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. So, we showed you guys in this video, if you guys watched from the beginning, we showed you guys exactly how to get your very first, uh, Galarian Slowpoke and what you guys can do in order to try to get a shiny variant. And luck breeding through eggs is really just 1 in 512 if you have the shiny charm and Masuda method. So, it's hard. It's really hard to do it, but with an- OH MY GOSH! Where'd these five eggs come from? I was about to end off the video. I was gonna go straight to end screen. All right. Dang. Dang, homie. Should we do five more or just leave them? Let me know. Let me know. I can end it right now. Oh, we can just do five more. Oh my gosh. Where'd those five come from? What if a shiny is in there? Dude, one of these, it's a shiny. Let's go. All right, let's get them done. Let's go. We're just going to go on a little tour here. I was about to end off the video, my guys. People have already left. Dang, people are like, nah, man, I'm done. This guy didn't get it, I'm out. <laughs> but the cool people stuck around, so you guys are great. Thanks for sticking around. 
We let's go on a trip. A little rog and rolla. A little, I don't know. There's the little diggers beef. Come on, man. Whee! Let's go. Let's uh, say hi to Onyx. There it is. That is the legendary Onyx. The one and only Run Destroyers. He has taken so many of people's starter Pokemon. It's a running joke. At the offices of Game Freak, every time that Onyx claims another account where they knock him out, and you end up losing all your Pokemon due to it. There's a little bell that rings. There's a counter on the wall. And they keep track of that stuff. It's like a joke. Here we go. Nada. <clears throat> Nada. Uh, 35. Here we go. Last couple ones. No way, man. Please. Please. Last one. GG's. 137. We're out. No way. Okay. GG's. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. For those of you guys saying, it's shiny locked. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. It's not true. It's only shiny locked when you are trying to get it out of the station. So please understand that. There's a lot of misinformation going around and you're only making things worse by spouting that misinformation. People have shown on Twitter that they've already gotten it. So that being said, it is not a myth. It is not a wild goose chase. You can indeed actually breed it as we have right over here. Yes. <clears throat> Japanese player. Second egg hatching. Uh, four hours ago? Yeah, right at nine in the morning. So, like, a little bit after the, um, the thing. So it's there. It's out there. You just gotta be lucky. Uh, hello? Second egg hatching. Dude, in two eggs? Man, I've been out here for two hours, but I'm sure some people out there are going to be really... Lucky and or unlucky. So just keep on trying and you're going to get it, right? Eventually you will get this golden boy. If you guys have a shiny one, hook me up. I want him. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah. So, it's not shiny locked outside in the wild when you are breeding it. It is shiny locked at the station. So you can't just save at the station, reset the encounter over and over. You can't do that. But this is the way that you're going to get it. Ladies and gents, thanks so much for watching. <clears throat> Man. We tried. I should save the game, though. <laughs> let me... Let me save the game. Because <laughs> that would be bad. Alright. Let me save the game, and then we go to end screen. Alright, guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for bearing with my little sore throat issue. Hopefully the thing goes away, man. I don't know. I gotta go take a nap or something, but... Yeah. So, what are we doing later on today? I don't know, to be honest. I was honestly planning on playing some Temtem, but we'll see. Temtem Alpha, I think, closes today. I don't know at what time, but we might jump into that. And then keep in mind that we are going to be doing the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon demo, which is available for free to download right now on the Nintendo eShop. You guys can get that, play along with, and then you guys can see what happens tomorrow when we play it. It'll be pretty good. 
I don't know if we're going to do that today or tomorrow, but I wanted to get in on some Temtem action because that's really the jam right now. Anyway, don't sleep on it. So thanks so much for subscribing, all of you guys that enjoyed the shiny hunt. If you guys want to see me do these again, I can absolutely do it. It takes little to no effort to sit around and hatch eggs, but it's, it's more along the lines of conversations that we have along the way. It was a really fun time. And then in the event that we do get the shiny, right? Okay, so become a member, just like a couple people. Um, right over here, we have our, uh, our Superstar VIP members. We've got our Lightning Tier members. You guys are all amazing. Thanks for hanging out today. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, if you guys got your shiny, let me know in the comments. Use our hashtag of shiny hunt versus, um, And then, yeah, let me know. I, I can't wait to see them. That'd be really fun. Congratulations. So, All right, good luck. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.